Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the 2014 to 2017 transit of Sagittarius and how I believe it will impact the signs of Libra through Pisces. Now the first sign of course I'm going to talk about is Libra. Now with Libra the third house is emphasized uh, during this period and this could indicate um, perhaps uh, some serious, um, maybe even self-indoctrination of um, maybe a, of religion in, in terms of maybe maybe assimilating uh, maybe some thoughts on this and, and more emphasis uh, put on this as far as communication goes. Uh, might be some serious attention uh, paid to this more and uh, this person might feel maybe some restriction and limitations that are associated with communications. Communications during this time uh, may be very, um, I guess you could say, a uh, person might be very methodical more in going about these um, things, more serious communications. And there might be some, I guess you can say, controlled exuberance and maybe in connection with um, siblings, brothers and sisters uh, during this time. There might be more serious uh, discussions or, or maybe some uh, more seriousness uh, in connection uh, with these uh, people and there might be more responsibility connected with them as well. Now, next sign I'm talking about is Scorpio. Now during this period the second house uh, would be emphasized with the Saturn and Sagittarius transit. Now. Uh, people that have Sun, Moon, or Ascendant in Scorpio, they might uh, experience uh, maybe some, maybe renewed, maybe um, expansiveness, and, and maybe some exuberance that's controlled uh, in this, as far as second house things goes, uh, such as monetary things, uh, possessions. There might be more serious attention paid to these uh, income generated. Uh, maybe this person does something maybe in, in relation to outdoors because Sagittarius is associated with this, but there'll be more uh, responsibility, more seriousness in connection uh, with these things uh, during this period with, uh, with values. This person might quote unquote expand their horizons as far as their values go and there might be some optimism connection with this, but at the same time being uh, the fact that the planet is Saturn I'm talking about and so there might be some restriction and limitation connected with these things as well. Now the next sign I'm going to talk about, oh lo and behold, Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius, uh, the first house is emphasized and this uh, people that have the Sun, Moon or Ascendant in Sagittarius uh, may emphasize um, as far as their outlook on life goes, more uh, seriousness and connection with their philosophical uh, outlook. There might be more uh, serious um, attention paid maybe to their uh, appearance to some degree. And uh, we look at the, the first houses connected with, I mean, uh, we could look at maybe as far as physically maybe there'll be more attention connected with this. There'll be some exuberance in connection uh, with this, but at the same time it will be, because it is Saturn, it'll be, some, uh, it'll be somewhat controlled. And Saturn, even though it's in Sagittarius, when it transits, when it's in that, that first house area, there might be some propensity to maybe lose weight uh, during that uh, transit. So that's something uh, to consider. Um, this person might maybe go into some kind of um, thing where they want to change maybe their appearance by perhaps engaging in some kind of sports activity such as working out, lifting weights, or just being more athletic and sports minded in general during this time. Now, next sign I'm going to talk about is Capricorn. And with Capricorn, uh, the 12th house is what's emphasized during this period. So there might be more of an, um, maybe an expansiveness, if you will, connected maybe with things of a introversion, uh, maybe things associated with introspection and seclusion. This person may um, maybe be more, um, I guess we could say, philosophical in terms of um, things that they're doing, connection with private uh, matters. Uh, this is a time 
where uh, Capricorn might enthusiastically look at things in private in times uh, by themselves when they're alone and in solitude and really maybe enjoy uh, this period a little bit more. At the same time, it is Saturn, planet of restriction and limitation. And there might be some, uh, maybe this person feels that there are um, people that have the um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant might feel that there's some kind of uh, limitation during this period. There's going to be maybe a time where when Saturn transits the 12th house, often the person may discard uh, what is maybe somewhat frivolous or unimportant and kind of, and start uh, focusing on um, the things that maybe are uh, important. Saturn a lot of times takes away things that are trivial and are not significant, and this could be very done uh, behind closed doors through self-evaluation during this time. Now, next sign, Aquarius. Now, the sign Aquarius, it's the 11th house that is emphasized, and there may be some serious attention. Um, this is Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Aquarius. Serious attention paid to things that are associated with friendships, goals, aspirations, acquaintances, and uh, organizations. This person may have, uh, might feel that there's some more uh, responsibility, maybe connected with the, with the at least one of these matters, and but at the same time do so with exuberance and uh, enthusiasm. Uh, during this period, for um, for Aquarius, Aquarius is the sign kind of like the universal friend anyway, and then have Saturn transiting, or I should say emphasized in the 11th house really, is that there's going to be more attention maybe paid to these things than, than usual with friendships. Now, at the same time, there might uh, this person might feel, even though there might be a little bit of enthusiasm connected with these things, there might be some, uh, maybe some kind of limitation, or this person might feel there's something like that uh, connected with these matters or one of these things in the 11th house. So, anyway, last but not least, uh, the sign Pisces. Now, with Pisces, uh, the emphasis will be on 10th uh, ten house matters during this period. So. This person might uh, feel compelled, as far as their career goes, to maybe expand their horizons and try to branch out and see something, uh, maybe do something, maybe a little bit different, get out of the box, so to speak, but might um, encounter some uh, strong responsibilities and connections with these things, and uh, but may do so with more and with ebullience and some kind of, I guess, as I've stated before, the controlled exuberance and enthusiasm and being able to um, branch out, but realistically branch out. And this is something that we look at um, for this placement for uh, for Pisces for this emphasis on tenth house matters and and maybe some more attention connected with their public image, maybe things associated with uh, authority figures. Um, supervisors, uh, there might be more emphasis on this right now, and um, in being able uh, to approach matters with these things um, with a little bit more enthusiasm, but control at the same time. At the same time, this is Saturn, planet of restriction, limitation, and maybe this per, uh, people with Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant might feel a little hampered in this area uh, to some degree as well, though. So anyway. That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for uh, Saturn and Sagittarius transit 2014 to 17, um, talking about its impact on signs Libra through Pisces. And stay tuned next time where I'll be continuing my interceptions uh, series. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.